Microsoft Bing Ads is the counterpart of Google AdWords. Google Ads allows you to run ads on Google Search Network and Google's Partner Network. Microsoft Bing Ads, on the other hand, allows you to run ads on both the Bing Search Network and their partner networks such as Yahoo and AOL. What's great about it is that Bing Ads has less competition and cheaper CPCs. Bing still makes up a small percentage of the world's market share, but they still reach millions of people. Bing is slowly growing and has been slowly increasing their world percentage share. Since most of the majority users are from the United States, it offers a lot of opportunities for the businesses in the U.S. in expanding their reach. Now, if your online store caters to the U.S., then it is wise to consider setting up Microsoft Bing Ads. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through in setting up your Microsoft Bing Ads conversion code to your Shopify online store. You can start by logging into your ad account on Microsoft Live at ads.microsoft.com. If you don't have an ad account yet, it will prompt you to create one. You also need to log into your Shopify admin. Just visit www.shopify.com. What we need to do first is to generate the UET conversion code on Microsoft Ads so we can add it to your Shopify store. On your Microsoft Bing Ads account, click the tool icon located in the upper right corner and under the conversion tracking column, select UET tag. You can use one UET tag with all of your conversion code. Just create one if you haven't had any yet. It'll give you a prompt if you'll create another one if you have an existing one. You should see the UET tag that you created on the list. On the action column, click the view tag link to view the code and copy the code. What we need to do next is to add the code to your Shopify online store. On your Shopify admin, click the online store and on the current theme section, click the actions drop down and select edit code. Select the theme.liquid and look for the opening and the closing head tag. Just right on top of the closing head tag, paste the UET code that you have copied. Just click save once you're done. You can also set goals for a UET tracking code. Go back to your Microsoft Ads UET tag and under the goals column, click the none link and set the goals for your UET tag. Enter a name for your goal and select the type. If it's for the destination URL, just place your online store URL on the web page URL field. Fill up the rest and at the bottom, it'll generate a new UET tag. Once you have the tag, just copy it and go back to the Shopify theme.liquid. Replace the code that you just placed earlier. After you've copied it, just click Save. To make sure that the code works, we need to install an extension. Since we're using Google Chrome, visit the Chrome Web Store at chrome.google.com slash web store. Search for the UET tag helper and add this extension to your Chrome browser.
on your Chrome browser, click the extension icon located on the top right corner and pin the UET tag helper. Click the UET icon on the top right and turn the switch on. And on your online store website, refresh the page. If the setup is successful, then you should see it on the UET tag helper. Go back to your Microsoft Bing Ads account and click Save. You should see a green call out after. You also have an option to place the UET conversion tracking code on your checkout page. On your Shopify admin, click Settings located at the bottom left of the page and select Checkout on the next page. Scroll down to the order processing and on the additional scripts field, paste the UET conversion code and click Save. This should allow you to track how many customers reach the checkout after clicking your ad. Even if you decide to use Bing Ads as a supplement to your other paid ad efforts, it is definitely worth a try. Research on the cost and decide if utilizing Bing Ads is the right option for you. It's much better to run your Microsoft Bing Ads long enough and collect data so you can compare it to your other PPC platform. In that way, you should be able to make a decision based on the unique needs of your business. Do you like this content? If you do, don't forget to like this video. Click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you will get notified in our next video.